Hey everyone and welcome. I hope everybody's enjoying the holiday season. I certainly am. I usually like to take some time off, you know, Christmas, New Year's time, and I wasn't going to put up a video this week, but at the last minute I thought, you know what, I'll just put up a little filler. Because I don't know when this discussion or the argument will end regarding what is the best grip? Match grip. You should only use match grip. No, traditional grip. Traditional grip is better. No, match grip. Who, traditional grip was back in the old days, you know? I can't believe there's so much discussion and arguments about which grip is the best and which you should use. Well, stop all the anxiety. Here's what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna blur, I don't know how far down, so you can't see my hands or whatever. I'm gonna play two samples. All you have to do is tell me which grip am I using for each sample, all right? Traditional or matched. Here's the first one. Here we go. Here's the second one. Okay, what do you think? Okay, the first one. Let me unblur, play the unblurred version. Same thing, a replay. Here we go. That's right, I was playing like this. Whatever grip you want to call that. All right, here's the second one, unblurred. Yep, I was playing like this. What's the point? Well, does the grip really matter if you get the results that you're looking for? Now, no, I'm not going to say, you know, hold the sticks like this or anything else. That's not the point of this. I'm just showing you how somewhat ridiculous. If I only played like this from the time I was a child or even started now and just played like this, I would be extremely proficient at playing this way. Everyone would condemn me. Well, he doesn't play right. Well, how does it sound? How is my playing? <laughs> All right. So it just kind of to show you that it's, it's kind of ridiculous. So if you're playing traditional, play traditional. If you're playing match, play match. Cut all the, the thinking about it and wondering like, well, this part, all these people are saying this and that. No, get the results. Some of the greatest musicians in history that are no longer with us and that are still with us that will be considered great, that are great today and will be considered great years from now, only play traditional. Other drummers who are no longer with us and are still with us that will be considered great, that are considered great today and will be considered great years from now, only play matched grip. And then there's some that play that are great, great, great. Well, Steve Gadd, he plays both. Steve Gadd plays traditional and match grip on things. So you're going to argue? You're going to, you know, you're going to tell certain drummers, uh, you, you tell Jojo Mayer, oh, you're, you're wrong playing traditional grip. You should play match grip. No, it's ridiculous. The thought is ridiculous to me. Okay? In fact, if you want to really break it down into common sense, let's look at common sense. Let's take uh, drumming out of it. Let's just, uh, if you're standing, stand up, put your arms by your side and bring your arms up. How do they naturally fall? You don't, it's not like this. Your arms fall like this. You bring them up, boom. Handshakes when we talk, you know, to the side, like this. In fact, take one hand, turn it over. You feel it's a little more effort. There's a little more strain involved. And turn it over, relax it. This is much more relaxed and natural. So technically, if any grip was going to be the proper grip to use or the natural grip to use, it would be the French grip, which is the thumbs on top. That's how the hand naturally falls. Boom. That makes the most sense. All right. 
Is that is that getting getting through to some of you? I hope so. The people that are arguing, the people that have a opinion like, no, this grip only or this grip only. Now, one of the big arguments about match grip and versus traditional grip that I, I hear or I see a lot or people tell, is the power. You get more power with match grip. And I'm thinking like, well, power for what? How much power do you need? I can get the same power, and I would disagree with people. I, I would get the same power with traditional grip as I do with match grip. And it's not about coming up and banging down. And let me tell you this, I have never, ever, ever, ever in my life had to play as loud as I could. Never. On any gig, in concert halls, in auditoriums, in little gig, whatever. I never had to play as loud as I could. Many times, oftentimes, a lot of times, I had to play softer. So the drums are uh, uh, an instrument that can be heard. If a guitar plugs an amp in and cranks up their amp, you can play the drums without no microphones and, and match their volume level. So the idea that, you know, the power, like, what power for what? If I want to play a loud stroke, traditional grip, I have no problem. And I feel actually with traditional grip, I'm getting more because, you know, yeah, you're using your hands and stuff. I can really crack that, but I can still crack it with, with match grip. Play what you're playing with, traditional, stick with it. All right, if you want to learn match grip or want to play match grip, yeah, transition over. If you like, if you're playing match grip and go, I'm going to try traditional, grip, yeah, okay, you can learn it, you can learn it, no big deal. I like both. But like I said, where do the hands fall? Hands fall, hands fall, which is more natural to hold your uh, like this, like this, whatever. So based on that, French grip would be the way to go. <laughs> That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy New Year, everybody. My goodness, have fun. I'm in Vegas. I'm going to have a blast on New Year's Eve and New Year's. So uh, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe if you're so inclined. I'll go have some fun. Go work on the grip whatever you want go here grab the sticks like this and